We get to a stage where a threshold is reached where the magma can't be contained any longer in this and it breaks out and so far it's broken five times uh, towards the east where we've actually had five eruptions. So it's a nice little pattern developing and that's very reassuring uh, for those actually doing the monitoring and advising when to evacuate nearby areas. Uh, unfortunately, um, it could go on for quite some considerable time. Um, we're really in new territory here because eruptions like this have never been witnessed uh, carefully in this part of Iceland. Uh, the last sea of eruptions was over 800 years ago. Um, and the problem with this one is that it's occurring in an area where we have um, habitation, a town, infrastructure. There's been lots of work done on trying to improve the monitoring to understand what's happening in the crust and how that then links to eruptions to get uh, more advanced warning of what might be happening and really keep people and infrastructure safe because this is quite a sensitive area. Just displacing 1% of your population um, out of a place not knowing whether we'll ever go back. The, uh, stress and anxiety that is uh, it's quite horrific to think about to be honest um the great hope is that you know this this cycle will end it may be over with uh, within a day or two this eruption so it's part of this pattern we've seen uh, most of eruptions from this of very very fast start but also diminishing very very quickly